Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows computer. This is the virtual disk service error clean is not allowed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this error message when you are attempting to delete an existing partition on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. You first want to have Windows 10 or Windows 11 bootable media installed on a DVD or USB flash drive. And then you want to boot your computer to it. So you just would use the media creation utility online. You can follow one of my tutorials on how to download and install that directly from Microsoft. And then you would boot your computer off of it by either changing the boot order on your computer or you could just access it by using the recovery options that are available on your Windows device. So once you boot your computer off of the DVD or USB flash drive, as you see, that's where we are starting this tutorial off. So on the Windows Setup Wizard, you're going to select Next, and then Select versus Repair Your Computer at the bottom left corner of this window. Select versus Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC or See Advanced Options. And then select Command Prompt, use the Command Prompt for Advanced Troubleshooting. Type in disk part, D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T, hit enter. Then type in list, L-I-S-T, space disk, D-I-S-K, and hit enter. Now at this point, you're going to go ahead and type in select disk, and then type the disk or partition you want to delete. I cannot delete my main hard drive here, my main partition. So again, make sure you're not selecting your main hard drive here. Since I'm using the Windows recovery option, that's why. But again, just really big disclaimer, make sure you're not deleting your main hard drive partition using this utility. In your case, there will probably be multiple disks listed under here. So you would select the external or secondary hard disk that you would want to delete. I'm just going to type zero for the purpose of this video. Once you've done select disk and then whatever number of disk you want to delete, go ahead and then type in clean, hit enter. So once you're done, you go ahead and create a new partition on the drive, and that's pretty much it. So pretty straightforward process. Again, be very careful. Make sure you're not selecting your primary Windows hard drive or some other partition that might have important storage or files on them. You can check by the size here. That usually does a pretty good job indicating what your hard drive size is if you're unsure. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.